Hi, welcome to Doc365's SharePoint tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a subsite in SharePoint Online. For this, you have to log into your Office 365 account and go to the SharePoint homepage. From there, you need to select which SharePoint site you want to create a new subsite for. So I'm choosing a site called Marketing Updates. So I'm actually creating a new subsite for this SharePoint site. Every site you create in SharePoint is actually a subsite, except those sites that you see in the top of your site hierarchy. So uh, subsites actually come uh, inside each SharePoint site. So I am going to create a new subsite in this marketing updates SharePoint site. For that, you need to click on the settings icon at the top and choose site contents. In the site contents page, you can see all the contents that are in this or SharePoint site like documents, form templates, uh, lists, site pages, etc. And there's also a sections for sub sites here. Uh, all subsites you have created under this uh, website will be visible or displayed. As I haven't created any subsite for this site, uh, it's actually empty now. So let's go forward and create a new subsite. For that, click on the plus new icon here, and you can see there's a subsite option below. Click on the subsite. You can use the same option to create lists, pages, a document library, and you can also add any app if you like. So I'm just choosing the subsite option here. This is the place where you can create a new site. So first you need to give a title. So I'm just giving the same name, like I'm naming it as the marketing blog. You can give a description. Can also set a website address and you can choose the language here and you can see you can also choose a uh, template for this particular site so uh, i'm choosing a team site classic experience from the collaboration tab here and you can choose the permissions. You can either choose the same permissions as the parent site, or you can set unique permissions. And there are also options for the navigation and also navigation inheritance. So once you choose all these options, just click on create. So the new page or the new subsite will be created. You can also create a new group if you wish or use an existing group. I'm choosing create a new group option and you can decide the members of this site and also the owners for the site you can I'm also adding a new and I want to add one more person as the site owner. So I'm choosing Yes, once you add all the users, just click OK. As you can see, the new subsite is live now. So you can make any new changes as required. There are options to 
add new documents, upload, sync, etc. There's also a news feed over here, uh, which you can uh, utilize to make it make, uh, start a new conversation as required. These are the other options like add to list and libraries. Change the look of the site if you, if you want and the options to brand the site. You can also use this the share your site option to share your site with others. So uh, that's how you can create a new sub site uh, under any of your uh, SharePoint sites. And this can be used for any particular activity or if you want to uh, create a site for your team. If you want to create a different site for a particular for some particular users, apart from the main site, uh, the sub site option can be utilized. Hope this helps you to understand and create sub sites in your SharePoint online platform. That's all for today. Have a good day.